How's it going, everybody? Welcome to Virtual History 360. I'm Mr. Wade, and I am in Mansfield, Indiana. Now, why am I in Mansfield, Indiana? It's because I want to show you that history can be found just about anywhere. Now, where I am at, and you can see the historic site behind me here, is the Mansfield Roller Mill. Now, this is really cool because it's been preserved, okay? Now, if you look up the website, the Indiana State Parks goes through a list of what they've tried to do. They have preserved this as best as they could. They haven't modernized it more than a minimum, okay? They wanted to preserve the history. And I think that's really cool because if you want to find history, you gotta look for it. You know, we've talked about that before. But when you find it, it is just so cool. Now, what's really cool about this mill right here is it's a good demonstration of the transition from agriculture to industrialism in Indiana. Now, the town itself wasn't called Mansfield until the 1830s, okay? So to kind of give you an idea, it goes back. It's been a mill, though, for a long time. But when this was built, that really showed the technology pushing things forward. So what do you say we take a look around and just go to different spots? Alright, so hopefully you can hear me here. They got the waterfall behind me here. And this is why this place is such a good location for a mill. I'm actually leaning on the fence here. This is water power. And by harnessing the power of the water, they were able to make everything needed to make this town successful. Now, let's take a closer look at the building itself. All right, now if you look behind me here, you can see my son running in the background there. You can see the waterfall. That waterfall right there, I'm pointing to it, is actually from a dam. That dam is where they got the hydropower from that filled the workers, or gave the workers the energy needed to mill. They, you know, this is a corn country right here. Today it's corn and soybean, they alternate, but corn was the big crop here in Indiana at the time. Also wheat, they could ground it, they could plant it in flour, they could then process it. They could also use it to drive looms for everything. This is a three-story building. You gotta believe that they were running multiple machines from the power of this water here. Now, if I scooch just a little bit this way, you see this water wheel right here? Would you believe it? That has nothing to do historically. That water wheel wasn't put in until 1978. They put it there to draw tourists here, and we'll talk about tourists in just a second. No, that is not how they power it. The actual dam itself houses turbines. I believe there's three, if I remember correctly. There are three turbines that actually drive the works inside that building, okay? Let's take a look closer. All right, so as I mentioned earlier, the tourism part, you got the building here, you got the water here, you can see the way the dam kind of breaks right there, maybe a little, but take a look behind me. Side. You see the covered bridge. That is what this area is really known for is this covered bridge. And every October, I mean here in July, it's hot, it's sunny, there's no one. This is a ghost town right now because every October it fills with thousands upon thousands of people to come enjoy the heritage of Indiana's covered bridges like the one you see behind me here. So take a look around. What do you think? You now drop a comment if you know of any historical places near you and I challenge you look for historical places find that history let me know what you found okay you know hit that like button go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already and then make sure you check out my other videos that you find in other playlists on my channel for virtual history 360 i'm mr wade i'll see you next time